Today, let me introduce you to the wonderful artist, Jean Leon Jerome. Born in 1824 in France, Jerome had quite the interesting life experiences that greatly influenced his distinctive artistic style. Jerome's passion for art blossomed at a young age, and he was fortunate to receive excellent training at the École des Beaux-Arts in Paris. Inspired by his extensive travels throughout the Mediterranean and the Near East, his artworks beautifully capture the exotic landscapes and fascinating cultures he encountered. Take, for example, his painting Age of Augustus Birth of Jesus Christ from 1855. It portrays an incredibly detailed and realistic scene from ancient Rome, showcasing Jerome's fascination with history and mythology. Similarly, his alpine landscape from the 1850s depicts the majestic beauty of the mountains and the tranquility of nature. Jerome's religious works, such as The Virgin, The Infant Jesus, and Saint John and Portrait of Armand Jerome from 1848, showcase his skill in capturing the emotional and tender moments of religious subjects. His attention to detail is incredible, making these paintings truly come to life. Now, let's dive into the rich tapestry of Jerome's artwork. Paul in a Harem from 1876 is a perfect example of his exploration of Orientalist themes, portraying an enchanting oasis within a harem. Meanwhile, Portrait of a Roman Woman from 1843-44 and Head of a Peasant from the Roman Countryside from 1844 demonstrate his ability to capture the diversity of human characters. Jerome's love for mythology is evident in A Young Nymph Teased by Putty from 1851, a playful and whimsical scene from ancient Greece. And in the four corners of the world presenting their products at the first international exhibition in London from 1852, Jerome showcases his ability to create grand historical scenes. Lastly, let's not forget the haunting beauty of night from the 1850s, which explores the mysteries of darkness and the ethereal light. It's a testament to Jerome's artistic range and ability to evoke powerful emotions through his brushstrokes.